I'm Brendan O'Coughlin, a Galway graduate. Uh, since nearly all the advances in cardiovascular disease have happened in the United States, I have spent many years training there and have brought back all this uh, new information and approaches to the Galway Clinic so that it can be applied here to the treatment of heart disease. So in a person who has an irregular heartbeat or they suspect they may be having atrial fibrillation, it's something that you need to get checked out with your doctor to see do you have atrial fibrillation because the earlier it's treated, the more successful the treatment is and many people in the past were told that they had to be treated with medicines for the rest of their life or that they just were put on warfarin and there was nothing more that could be done. Technology has moved on enormously in the last 10 years to the point that we can cure atrial fibrillation in the vast majority of people if they're picked up early. So we all have a pacemaker in our heart. That is an area of electrical tissue in the right upper chamber. And what it does is it generates a heartbeat. There are cells there that generate electrical uh, impulses 60, 70 or up to 100 times a minute when you walk. Now for reasons we don't fully understand, some of those electrical cells which should only be in the pacemaker are actually in the four veins at the back of the heart that bring blood from the lungs to the heart. Now in about 1% of the population or slightly more have these electrical cells in the veins. Now what they do is they can fire an impulse spontaneously, send it into the heart and that causes the heart to go out of rhythm. Now it does this of its own bat. It can do it when you're playing a sport or most commonly when you're lying in bed at night or sitting down digesting your food, you can feel your heart racing and fluttering and essentially going out of rhythm. Now with this condition, irregular heartbeat or the correct term atrial fibrillation, what initially happens is the heart goes out of rhythm for a few seconds or a minute or two, once or twice a week and then it gets more frequent. It can last for longer, minutes or hours at a time, days or even continuously at times. So it goes through a progression where initially you have what we call paroxysmal or intermittent fibrillation and then it becomes more persistent and then if it's not treated or converted back to normal rhythm you develop what's called chronic atrial fibrillation where you're out of rhythm for life. Unfortunately, once you've reached this point it's no longer curable and you're going to be on blood thinners like warfarin for the rest of your life. Now the new approach to atrial fibrillation is to prevent this progression happening. What we try and do now is to identify people who are having an irregular heartbeat intermittently and then treat it appropriately to prevent it going on to the next stage called persistent atrial fibrillation. Now the way we do that is once we diagnose that you're having it, either we record it or in the office we notice that your heart is out of rhythm, we'll put you on one of several antiarrhythmic medicines to keep the heart ticking over normally so it stays in rhythm. In this way you won't progress to the next stage. Now some people don't want to be on medicines for the rest of their life or the medicines don't agree with them. So a new approach has been developed whereby we can put catheters into veins in your leg direct them into your heart and we can actually find the tissue in those four pulmonary veins and find the spots that are firing and triggering those impulses into your heart and causing the heart to go out of rhythm. A lot of us are aware of people that have had coronary angiograms to check out a blocked artery or to have a stent put in. The procedure is very similar in that uh, we put catheters into a vein in your leg instead of the artery and the catheters then go through the veins all the way up into the heart and we're actually able to find those four veins and place a catheter beside the vein where the electricity is breaking into the heart. Now with this catheter inside the heart we can actually see the electrical impulse uh, sparking or entering into the heart and causing the heart to go out of rhythm. So we can actually put the circular catheter around the vein and cauterize the tissue around the vein and this prevents the electrical impulse from the vein getting into the heart and causing the heart to go out of rhythm. Now like with an angiogram there may be some little discomfort with it so generally speaking we just knock you out for the whole procedure so you wake up and the whole thing is done. Um, there's no stitches or incision involved because everything is done through the veins in your legs. One of the catheters we put into the heart is an ultrasound catheter so we can actually see the catheter around the vein and see the whole thing as it's happening as we cauterize each vein in turn so we make sure that we don't miss any veins. The average person has four veins but some people have as many as seven or eight so we want to make sure that we find every single vein that's causing the trouble and causing the heart to go out of rhythm. So it usually takes about an hour to two hours to do the whole thing completely and people stay in the hospital for a couple of days afterwards to recuperate.